this video, we are going to cover the topic of changing a parent layer in the sculpt tree hierarchy panel inside of 3D Coats Sculpt Workspace. So for example, you can see I have a hair layer that is independent and child layers that are inset beneath their parent layer. And you also have this icon to the left that indicates the layer is expanded or collapsed. If I move the head around, you can see the child layers come along with it. So naturally, I also need to make the hair layer a child of the head layer. Let me undo. Okay. And I'll step out of the transform tool for the moment. We can come to the right side and you'll notice a new icon appears as we hover over this one. That indicates I can move this around. Let's go ahead and do that. We will click and drag. I can move it below this parent layer. However, if you move your cursor directly over the layer, then on the right hand side, you will notice a completely different icon. And that is one with an arrow pointing to the right. The arrow is pointing inside a little container, if you will. If I wanted to drop it into that hierarchy, I could do that, but I'll drop it right here and I will leave it as an independent layer for the moment. For demonstration purposes, I will make the child layers independent as well. There are a few different ways to change the parent of any given layer, so let's explore them now. I will start off by going to the right hand side. I see the little move icon that lets me know I can move it in the stack. We will next position it directly over the head layer, which is highlighted, and we see the icon to the right indicating that the head layer will become the parent. Now, when I release pressure from my stylus, I can see that the hierarchy has indeed been created. Next, I will move one of the eye layers in a similar fashion, but this time we do not have to hover over the head layer. So let me click and drag, and now you see the icon to the right indicating that if I release the pressure on my stylus now, it will drop it right above the hair layer. All right, so let's go ahead and drop it right there. Another option that we have is to use the right mouse button menu. Select the layer, right click over it, and choose Change Parent from the List menu. Or you can click the Pick by Click icon, and then hover over the object in the viewport. I'll click that, and you see that it moved it here. One last thing is you can also access this right mouse button menu right over the model by right mouse button clicking, and you'll see that. You can pick and click here as well. That's going to complete this overview of changing the parent in 3D Coats Scope workspace. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.